doing an, a double bill again this year. The first of the two is a very short 17 minute opera called The Unicorn in the Garden. It's based on a well-known James Thurber fable for our time. She took it! And the second show of the evening, Meanwhile Back at Cinderella's, takes a sort of cockeyed look at the familiar story that we all know from the, from the Brothers Grimm. What if Cinderella wasn't sweet and put upon? And what if the stepsisters weren't crabby? What if it was all flipped around the other way, sort of a fractured fairy tale, if you will? We have a guest director for this opera. Her name is Dr. Sosenheimer. We call her Dr. S because Sosenheimer is kind of a mouthful. Um, and she's just been really, really awesome to work with. They are willing to be molded like crazy. They are hungry for advice. They, they love to tell stories. And that's what this business is about. It's about telling stories. I came in with a love of theater. Granted, I didn't know that much, but I just loved to perform and getting to know that world in a more in-depth way helped me to not only sing better, but to act better and dance better so that the character could come alive. My character is super fun because I'm trying to tell the Cinderella story exactly as it's supposed to be. So it's a lot of fun. I get to be really sassy. Um. I would hope that the audience sees all the magic that's been put into it. There are all the people behind the scenes that you don't ever see, but they've designed the set. They've built the props. There are costumes that are built for each person. The audience is transported and they don't even have to think about who did what. The hole in our stage might be a little unusual. What's unique here is that the actors can not only be in front of me, they can be directly to my side and they can actually go behind me. They can see me because I'm not far from them and when they need me I can be there but I'm quite unobtrusive. All you will see is about four inches of the top of my very bald head. Auditions and roles are open to anyone, whether they're music ed, musical theater, or accounting. Um, anyone can participate if they want to, and I think that's um, something really special that Anderson has to offer that not many places do. We started rehearsing the music in November of 2017. We didn't start the staging until January of 2018. And up until a week ago, we were still fixing musical things. It's just that complicated. This music is some of the hardest music I've ever done in my life. If we needed extra rehearsal time, he worked that in. I met with him individually a couple times just to work on the opera. It's way outside their comfort zone, but I think they're gonna be happy they did it. I think it's really special to be able to come to a school like this where you have a job building the sets as well as performing in the shows. I want people to go away going, oh, well if that's what opera is, then I'm all in. I think they'll laugh, I think they'll be delighted.